Today, I'm gonna tell you how Discraft is saving the world with this new plastic and potentially saving our wallets as disc golfers as well. Let's jump into it. This is Discraft's new recycled ESP plastic and man, it is absolutely beautiful. We've noticed that lately, really over the past few years, big, big disc golf companies are starting to roll out their own versions of recycled and more sustainable plastics. We've seen this all the way back to MVP rolling out their R2 plastic, which is an incredible plastic. But now we see companies like Latitude 64 has a recycled plastic. Castaplast has a regrind plastic. Uh, Clash Discs is rolling out their new Planty uh, bioplastic. I believe a few other companies are starting to as well, but there's a huge push by the entire disc golf community as a whole to now reach into more recycled plastic and make the sport more sustainable. I'm sure there are a lot of reasons for this, but I have to give a huge shout out to Jesse over at Trash Panda because this has been happening over the last couple years. Genuinely, I remember playing disc golf in college and there were few, if any, truly recycled plastics out there. Uh, I think there were some like Gateway had hemp blends and other things, but I don't even know if that was for the purpose of sustainability. It's really been since Jesse at Trash Panda started his company where he has this inner core, he has the dune, he's rolling out a fairway driver soon. He showed that there is a very passionate community of disc golfers who want to see the sport move into a more sustainable place. And he also showed that you can take recycled plastic and get a pretty high quality product. I think Jesse is also one of the few people who at some point was taking plastic that was not made for disc golf at all. It was just going to a landfill and turned it into a disc golf disc. Uh, he does use recycled plastic from discs now, but I believe he still blends it with genuine trash to make discs. I think he's one of the only people doing that still. But like I said, he showed that there's a lot of disc golfers out there who want something recycled. This is recycled ESP plastic. So I believe that it is just, you know, leftover ESP plastic that would still otherwise be going to a landfill. So this is a huge step in the right direction and turned into recycled discs. We have here today a Buzz, a Zone, and a Meteor, all recycled ESP. This is a just traditional ESP Zone, and it feels almost identical, uh, if not exactly identical to this ESP plastic. I noticed maybe these are a tiny bit more stiff, but they feel almost exactly the same. And this is one of the absolute best parts of this. This craft is rolling out nine different stock run molds of this ESP plastic, which again, absolutely beautiful and they have told us that the market price for these is going to be 15 dollars each for every single one of these nine molds which usually these swirly esp molds especially of things like the zone or the buzz are running closer to 20 dollars. and traditionally recycled plastic tends to be more expensive than non because of the process they have to go through to churn out these discs. I think of like the R2 ion is more expensive than a normal ion because it is a lot of work. I think that's why companies haven't been doing it up until now is because they didn't know there was such a community out there and such a demand for recycled discs that it might not be worth it. But now, fortunately, I think they're realizing that a lot of people are looking for this and Discraft has a tendency to do things just absolutely the best. And this is some of the coolest, coolest recycled plastic I've ever seen. And it's only gonna be $15. I'm really happy to tell you that they fly exactly how I would expect them to fly in their ESP plastic. Um, something I am noticing about the hand feel specifically that is kind of controversial. I love it. I've heard other people say they hate it. They kind of feel like they have that you, it's very hard to see on the disc itself because of the colors, but they kind of feel like they have that Innova Blizzard bubble kind of rim that I personally love. It makes it a little bit more grippy um, and it, sometimes it makes them more understable depending on the disc, but I really, really like that. I pursue Innova discs that have that, but especially on this Meteor, there are some definite bubbles in the rim, which again, I like. Other than that, they feel and fly pretty much identical to their ESP counterparts. So definitely be looking out for the release of Discraft's recycled plastic. Big shout out to Discraft uh, for moving us forward. I still think we're a few steps away from having, you know, truly, truly recycled plastic discs, but this is a huge step in the right direction. Be sure to check them out. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments below, and we will see you guys in the next one. Stay swanky.